Hey YouTube, this is Carl KC8YLT. I haven't made a video in a long time, but I'm going to make a quick and quick one here. Uh, something I'm working on. It is a uh, Cobra 29 Classic AMCB radio. It's 40 channels. I've converted to work on 20 meters. Uh, I'm going to explain a little bit about the conversion. What you're listening to is CW down at the bottom end of the uh, uh, 20 meter handband. This radio has a frequency coverage of right around 14400 down to, uh, uh, I believe it's 13.95 megahertz. The radio is not transmitting yet. It's going to have a double single or double sideband transmit once it's done, but it will transmit a carrier down here. It's a real low power carrier. Um, first off, I'll show you a, a crystal oscillator I'm using to have a, a force signal injection on C87. Those who have uh, ever channeled one of these radios in the past uh, any old CBers will tell you that um, the only way you could channel or expand the frequency range of one of these radios is to uh, use a crystal oscillator and connect it to C87, capacitor 87. Uh, this one here you'll see a varactor diode, a resistor, another diode and a, uh, I believe it's 10 microhenry choke. Um, that there is the tune, that uh, single crystal oscillator uh, using the Delta Tune as a clarifier. I'll demonstrate that here in a minute. The reason why I'm able to receive single sided band, uh, I'm using a product detector that I made. Some of the information come off the internet. It uses a uh, NE602 chip, a pair of uh, BC347 transistors, and a uh, 455 KC ceramic filter in the beat frequency oscillator. The potentiometer you see there is the uh, pitch adjustment. Uh, the taller transistor is a voltage regulator that I'm using. Uh, the little, uh, this little product detector works real well, especially in uh, solid state rigs. A tube rig, you can, it'll work. Just got to be real careful where you hook it up at. I've got an older Hamlin uh, HQ100 that I hooked this to and it worked fine. But anyway, let's get on back to the radio. Uh, the radio to uh, bring the receive tune circuits down to uh, 14 megahertz, 20 meters. I threw some extra capacitance across the coils in the receive. Uh, that brings the uh, receive down. Uh, the operating frequency range of the receive RF, the tuned RF stages. For those of you who've seen some of my videos before. Uh, the plastic bag is just to keep that oscillator from shorting out on the chassis because it's laying there. And i got to keep that white wire, as you see. Um, that's that's the uh, signal output. So let's uh, tune it, turn this up a little bit. See what we have here. And I've got a uh, Kenwood R1000 receiver on. This piece of wire for an antenna. This shows that the radios are receiving on the same frequency. Now what I'm going to do is, on the uh, modified uh, Cobra 29 Kia carrier, that's being picked up by the R1000. As you can see, it will transmit a carrier. But like I said, um, transmit's not finished with, I'm not finished with the transmitter yet. The, uh, I've got to build a uh, double sideband circuit for it to make it transmit. I'm going to use an MC1496 chip. It's going to be on a board similar to this one. And it'll be mounted inside the radio. Let's, have a tune, or let's tune around here and see what we can hear. This time of day, there's not a whole lot of traffic. It's been pretty quiet the last couple days.
I'm using the RF gain as an IF gain control. kit available for this. There's a lot of work involved with uh, doing this conversion. It's a little bit challenging. In the last year I've not done a whole lot of radio work. My job uh, I have is taking me around different places. Uh, I just recently purchased a piece of property, so I may be selling the uh, QTH here, the house, and uh, moving there eventually. It's on the uh, old family farm. There's just been a lot going on. I haven't, I just haven't felt like doing much radio-wise. Uh, a lot of people haven't heard me on the air for a while. The reason why I can't tune these people in is between, because they're between channels 19 and 20. I hate to use 19 and 20, but that's a reference I'm, I'm going to use because this is in, this radio works in 10 KC steps. That's one of the downfalls. This radio is the. Uh, 10 KC steps, uh, channels between 19 and 20, uh, 11 and 12, 3 and 4, 7 and 8. For those of you familiar with old CB radios. Um, the other problem I have with it is um, this radio was originally designed with uh, dual conversion. It's now single conversion. 455 KCs only. They used a, a second IF in, it in the original design of 10.7 megahertz. I had to bypass that. Um, I'm taking the uh, signal is generated from the VCO combined with the crystal oscillator it comes out to uh, 455 KCs below whatever my desired frequency is and once I start transmitting it comes up to desired for you know uh, desired frequency and uh, that works out just fine the radio with the radio's own uh, built-in offset uh, these radios I if uh, Someone wanted a radio like this to talk just AM with, but on 20 meters. Uh, I know there's a there's a place on the top or upper portion of 20 meters. I believe it's uh, 14286 somewhere around there. Uh, some people still talk AM there. If they wanted to convert one of these just to work AM, it could be done, minus the product detector. Uh, but you'd have to con uh, keep the uh, crystal oscillator board. But uh, that, that would probably cause problems with a lot of the amateurs, so I won't go too much into that. But, uh... This is one here, Kyle. Gary, give me one to buy it. Some days, uh, 20 meters is real active, and there's other days I just don't hear hardly anything on there. Now. Oh, QSL, well, that's, that's good. I, I, I like that even better than that. Ham Radio Deluxe is 100 U.S. I hope there's somebody there talking. But anyways, I want to show you all that real quick, and I'll, uh, once I get the uh, radio transmitting on uh, double sideband, I'll make another video and see if I can't make some contacts. So. Talk to you all again soon. This is Carl, KC8YLT, saying 73s.